guys. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. I really loved what the founder was doing. I love the idea of um, developing entrepreneurship and supporting everybody and networking. And so everybody that's here, I want to start by saying, you know, we are all part of something bigger than us. And that's so important. So I think we should first give kind of a round of a hand, a round of applause to the organizers putting this together and for each and every one of you guys for being here. So I just want to do a shout out for you guys because I appreciate it and giving us this platform. But with that being said, I'm going to kind of get to um, the nuts and bolts of why I was asked to come here. Um, you know, I have spent the last 25 years of my life really developing a brand for myself. Um, I've been an international um, beauty queen. I've been a talk show host, both you know nationally and locally. Um, I have degrees. I've got a Juris Doctorate, so I'm an attorney. I also have a PhD. So you know, I've developed this brand. Um, and here comes my daughter, and I see a light in her that I had that I didn't have. Um, and so I've shifted my focus from more of developing my brand to helping, aiding, and assisting Landon in her journey. And just to give you um, just a brief background, um, Landon's 14 years old. She's about five, nine and a half. She's gonna be 5'11". And um, last year was her first time doing New York Fashion Week. And from that, this whole entire world opened up. As a mother, I was reluctant. When she says, hey, I wanna model, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Education's important and, and then, and then it, it dawned on me that here I was telling her that she had limits. But yet, as a mother, I tell her she has no limits. So that's when I decided, you know what? If this is something that you want to do, let's go do this. And I think that's so important because so many people are limited by their beliefs. And youth is not. I mean, she has no limits. There is nothing she can't do. And so to kind of step behind her for the first time in my life, and push her forward was like a very uh, humbling experience because I strongly believe that the youth has ideas that are limitless. We limit ourselves as adults by our experiences. But if we could tap into what you're gonna see when you get to meet Landon, her world is so big. And so one of the things I really want to have to be a takeaway for everybody is that we need to run our lives like a 12 year old she's 14 now but like a 12 year old with no limits so our journey started like i said in new york fashion week she ended up entering a contest um, called world's top model she had no experience um but she won the whole thing and i kind of sat back and i went how did you learn all this stuff she hits the runway she's like a professional she's like oh i youtubed it <laughs> And so right now there's so much um, information out in the world that we can tap into to help grow our businesses and our ideas. So that kind of kicked off this career that, um, you know, I'm excited because in a year she's really accomplished. She's been on the cover of multiple magazines. She's hit the runway in New York Fashion Week multiple times. She's done more in a short amount of time than I did in 20 years. And so the question is, what is her secret sauce? Is it because she's, you know, five, nine and a half at 14 years old? I don't think so. Because there's tons of girls out there that are pretty and smart. So what makes Landon unique? And and I think this, like I said, is, is the secret sauce to anybody being successful. And again, is that she doesn't have limits. She believes that she can do and accomplish anything. So as a mother building a supermodel, because um, that's what I think I'm building, is to be able to kind of have her live a very balanced life. You know, to understand that, you know, there's, there's certain aspects in our life. We have our career, which is important. Then we have philanthropy, philanthropy that is just as important. And then we have education and family. And so I've really had to, as her mother, balance this drive to succeed that she was just born with like i'm excited when you guys get to meet her i mean she's got patents pending and trademarks and she just enrolled in college at 14 years old and it's like i just shake my head and go okay i need to 
make sure that balance exists in her life. So, um, you know, that takes really planning your day and giving her roadmaps. And one of the things that I think really inspired her to do this is, and she's going to tell you more about it, but we have a program um, called Girls Camp and it's an empowerment program and she came up with it like at a very young age and so she's lived the message that you know in order for you to be successful you have to have a roadmap you have to every day get up and take steps towards whatever your goal is whether it's to open a business whether it's to save lives like whether it's to get healthy and each day to take small steps towards that goal so if anybody is out in the audience and they're like, okay, well, you know, I want to, you know, open a business that, you know, I don't know, develops a, like a fashion line. It's like, you know, overnight, like I always tell Landon, and I'm like, you're not going to get to where you want to be just by saying, I want to be there. Like, so what are the steps and who can you surround yourself with? that can help you elevate your dreams. Um, and so that's one of the reasons I love what you guys are doing because you're surrounding yourself with powerful, enlightened people, people that are up to something, people that have that 12 year old spirit of, I can do anything in life. So the seats that you're sitting in right now is the first step to anything that you believe that you want to accomplish. And what's interesting for me is I don't care if you are the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company. There is something that you want to do. Each of us have something that we haven't done that we want to do. So, you know, being at a conference like this, I'm, I'm hoping that people's takeaway, because I got to hear some of the other speakers, is to kind of light that spark, whatever it is. You know, to take that journey, because it's a different path. You know, we've all been going, say, I mean, I say we have 10, um, 10 years, you kind of change your career, and I don't know if other people feel like that way, but like I'll have a focus and I'll run really hard toward that focus for 10 years. And then all of a sudden I go, ooh, this is what's important in my life, and I run that direction. So, you know, what I'm hoping when you get to meet Landon is that whatever that vision is that you have, that you haven't accomplished. Um, and it might be, you know, something as wonderful as starting your family. You know, you focused on your career most of your life, and now you want to focus on your family. The key really is to just take baby steps. So, like for Landon, you know, that, that contest was her first baby step. And now, every single day, we do something to advance what her goals are. So, you know, people think, you know, models, they just have to be beautiful. I remember the first photo shoot she ever did and she woke up the next morning and she was young she was like 13 years old and she's like oh my god my body hurts and I ache and I'm like because you actually had to work <laughs> you know what I mean so she had to work hard and so every week we do multiple photo shoots we pull up the photos and we say okay what can you improve this week you know last week she was training with one of the world's top models um, and and afterwards you know, we immediately went and did a photo shoot to, to practice the skills that she had developed. So, you know, and, and I think this applies to anything in life, is that you really, you have to practice before you can run. And I think people forget that. They say, oh, somebody got lucky. And I heard um, the speaker right before me, but he was like, no, you create your luck. And I think that is a huge takeaway because it's something that, I learned in my you know 25 years of television, I was never in the right place in the right time unless I put myself in the right place at the right time. And sometimes I thought I was in the right place at the right time, and I wasn't. And I would kind of leave and go, oh, okay. Um, and then I would try again. And that actually brings me to how I broke into television, which I'm gonna, it kind of diverting from Landon, but I think it's an interesting story. Um, I had graduated from law school and all of a sudden decided I wanted to be in television and not practice law. Okay, so I've just spent all this time really committed to uh, becoming a lawyer and went, wait a second, that's not the path I wanna be on. And um, 
I remember I was picking my mother up from the airport and I saw a television truck there. And I literally pulled over on the side of the road and chased this television <laughs> truck down, pounding on the back window. And I remember he opens the window and I'm like, oh, I wanna be in television. And he's like staring at me going, okay, this lady has lost her mind. But I didn't know how to start. So I needed to find a mentor and I didn't, you know, you don't just go to a television station, knock on the door and say, I, I need somebody to mentor me. So I pled my case to this cameraman that was, you know, driving the car and said, and he's like, you know, you don't have any experience. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but it's not rocket science. I can do this. And I said, well, let me just take you to lunch. So I created an opportunity because, you know, he said, yeah, I'll go to lunch with you. And then I said, the next time I had lunch with him, I said, well, you know, can you introduce me to the general manager? And he's like, yeah, I can do that. You know, that's so I, I asked baby steps. And then it took me almost two years to actually get hired by the television station. And I would call them every month and I'd be like, do you have an opening yet? Do you have an opening yet? Do you have an opening yet? They got tired of me calling is how I got into television. They finally said, you know what, come in. And that, that same day, they threw me out into the, to the um, I'd say to the wolves, put me on air that, that same day that I was hired. And if I hadn't practiced up until that point, I would have fell on my face. But when I was given that opportunity, over those two years, I used to set up my own video camera outside and I would do whatever the news story was of the day and practice. And so that's what I do with Landon as well. It's like, you know, every day, put on your heels, go walk, because you know what? When Versace calls, and in fact, she actually just did a photo shoot down at the Versace mansion, um, I want you to be ready. Like, you have to be ready. And so I think that is, one of the most valuable lessons that I've passed on to Landon is that not only do you create your opportunities, but you better be ready when that opportunity comes. And, you know, doing functions like this, preparing yourself, networking, that's just one aspect. Whatever it's what you want to do, you need to find a mentor. Um, to this day, my mentor, you know, was Eric, and he'll tell the story of me chasing him down the street to make that opportunity. I was never handed anything in life. I had to make the opportunity. You know, I I look at, you know, Landon has a little bit of a leg up. You know, I think there's a saying about, you know, some people are born, you know, they have to learn to crawl and some people are kind of born walking. She knows she has a benefit because I'm able to instill that, those values, those lessons that I learned. Um, so, and I know she's watching. And so, yes, there's a little bit of luck in where you're born and who's around you. But I know for a fact that her, the fire in her soul, if she didn't have me, she would still be pushing because she pushes me beyond what I think is possible. Um, you're gonna see very quickly, like I said, she has an invention that just blew my mind. And I had told her, well, I'm gonna let Landon tell the story because I told her she couldn't do it. And I will tell you, Two years later, she has proven me wrong. And I'm seeing that I'm, um, <laughs> my time's running out and I could talk to you guys forever. Really excited for you guys to meet somebody that actually inspires me.